Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrestal Vestige where we are vested in all things Agrestal. My name is Tom and uh, we're here with another blended scotch whiskey review for you today. Today we have Cutty Sark 12 year old. Yes, an age stated Cutty Sark. Remember last week we did the traditional uh, general expression of Cutty Sark. This is their 12 year old age statement. And I just had tried this a few years ago and it's quite a bit different. A lot more robust than the traditional Cutty Sark. So let's give it a go. It's not a screw top. Corked. And like the uh, the regular Cutty Sark, which is in a green bottle, this is also in a more uh, opaque bottle, which is a dark brown. Uh, as you well know from having watched this channel, that's because they hide the fact that they don't put any or very little coloring in their whiskey. Because you can see that, that's quite a natural color for a 12 year old whiskey. And let's get into the nose of this because I'm very excited about this whiskey. I mean, it very much surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be what it was. But when you get into the nose, the, the first thing that comes across is like a, a Christmas fruits, like dates, figs, dark fruits. You also get a, a, a like a hay that has been stored in the barn. If any of you are well, for me with that or had a farm background hay that's been stored in the winter time and you and you are in the summer uh, fresh cut hay stored in the summer you go in the winter to take it out and uh, feed it and when you move the bales that aroma that hits you you get that on this it's a lovely toffee lovely vanilla fresh oranges, fresh apples, certain flowers like freesias, marmalade. It's quite lovely actually. Pears, apples. Yep. So let's give it a, a taste. It's quite robust on the on the nose. Wow, you get that very much that honey sweetness up front, and 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 then you're just then you you have notes of of the tropical fruit, of dark chocolate, of pineapple, mangoes, dried fruit, clove, sea salt, all sorts of things just come out and attack your palate in a very good way. Um, you got that underlying vanilla and caramel notes. You got the underlying fig and dates and raisins. So this was obviously, I'm gonna add some, some water to this. It's actually bottled at 40%, believe it or not. So I'm not going to add too much water, but it's a very robust Scotch whiskey to be bottled at 40%. I'm going to put about two milliliters. Now, obviously, this 
and let this sit for just a wee bit. Uh, Glenn Rothis is the main uh, contributor to malts in this. I'm not sure about the grain whiskies, and I don't know how many grain to malt whiskies that they are in here. Um, however, unlike the traditional standard Cutty Sark, you can tell that this, some of the scotches, some of the malts, or whiskies in general, have been matured in X bourbon cask and there are also quite a bit of influences from X Oloroso or PX sherry casks you can definitely taste that in this whiskey I mean it gives it a lovely complexity that, that you just don't find in many blends so after the addition of water Yeah, that dark fruit, raisins, marmalade, marmalade, toffee, that vanilla. And now after adding the water, the apples, instead of the fresh apples, it turns into a more, more stewed or cooked apple. Yes, on the taste. Wow, you get that robust sweetness. It's very syrupy. You get those dark chocolate notes. You get those raisiny notes. Uh, citrus, but fresh citrus, not zesty citrus. The caramel vanilla is all there. And, but after the addition of water, you start getting a lot of those, those, those nutty notes, like um, black walnut, English walnut, pecan, hazelnuts it, it's all in there a bit of pepper just on the finish on the finish you get a peppery dark chocolatey fruit cakey type flavor um, very sweet very robust very complex but that yeah I mean it's like a, a lovely well-made well-aged liquid fruitcake <laughs> it really is I think it's gorgeous um, the 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 flavor profile in this just rivals many many others I, I've seen some blended scotch whiskies that had a higher age statement than this that did, couldn't compare to this at all remember I reviewed uh, one uh, a few weeks ago pinch and it was age dated at 15 years this night and day absolutely night and day the the whiskies in this are are well matured and good quality casks and blended together very slowly very methodically so whoever the blender was I don't know who it was on this one that was a straight job I mean I don't have a lot of negative to say about this particular whiskey um, when I saw it sitting on the shelf it was just one bottle there it was the only bottle there 
amongst all the other cutty sarks. It was one bottle of cutty sark. You could almost uh, overlook it because the label is similar, but the bottle is a different color. And it was an age statement. I said, I'll, I'm going to get that. I'm going to try it. I did, and I was completely and totally surprised. Because traditional Cutty Sark, it, it's a quite nice blend, but it's nothing like this. Absolutely nothing like this. Um, as far as marks out of 100, I would, without reservation and without hesitation, give this a good, strong, solid, hard 89 out of 100. The longer it sits, with the water added to it, and, and this is the, the, the same as, as what happened with the, with the traditional, um, the standard Cutty Sark. You're starting to get a little bit, a hint, a waft, a background note on the nose of smoke, that peat smoke. You don't get it initially when you first pour it out of the bottle. You don't get it initially when you first add the water. But after you let it sit for a while. And if you were to let this sit for half an hour, an hour, two hours, it would continue to change, continue to develop. And there's no telling how, uh, the complexity of flavors you would experience. Anyway, this is a lovely dram. I'm Tom with the Grestle Vestige. If you're liking these videos, you find them useful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bells, and see when our next ones are, are coming out, which, which are always on Tuesday at, at about noon anyway. Um, that's it for me for this week. Until next time.